Kaveshan Tamburin is a visual artist who is also the head lecturer in new visual studies at the University of Johannesburg. Rather than seeing technology as an antagonist to the arts, he's embraced it as a medium. And Zaki met up with him to discuss the opportunities created in the digital domain. Artist and academic Kivesh Tamburan has earned acclaim for his work in which he explores the concept of Indianness in the South African context. Personally, I find creativity a form of meditation and that is why I constantly surround myself with creative people. My fix today is from musician and visual artist Kivesh Tamburan, who has agreed to take time out from his busy day to meet me here to tell me what fuels his passion and creativity. Kivesh! Hello! Hello. <laughs> Lovely to meet you. You too. I'm so excited to find out about the man behind the art. I'm excited to share with you. Where did you grow up and how has this influenced who you are today? I grew up in Laneja. That's been one of the main influences in my work. Thinking about where I come from and where I am right now and the kind of places that I'm going to be. So I think home is where the art is. What stories do you tell through your art? I think we can talk about that over tea, don't you think? Thank you. What stories do you tell through your art? It's about my life, my experiences here in Johannesburg as a young Indian man. And I try to combine that with my religion. So Hindu mythology becomes one of the visual factors in my work. What did you study? Why? And how did your parents react to such an unconventional career choice? I decided to study visual art because from my days in high school, I knew I was not meant for a job where I sat behind a desk like most of my friends. And with regards to my family, Visual art has been something that's been a dream in the family itself. My dad had dreams of being an artist when he was younger. He had a portfolio prepared and he was ready to apply when he finished school. And then because of circumstances under the apartheid regime, he couldn't apply to varsity, so he had to settle for working in the bank instead. Kadeshan, what is visual art? Visual art is a collection of classical art techniques, painting, sculpting, drawing, printmaking. What medium do you work in? Would you like to come and see? Yes, please. This is where I began in third year when I was allowed to make my own art. And I was really interested in the term by cutting things up, forms and shapes, and then placing them back together in a way that wouldn't make sense to the viewer's eye. What is the subject matter of your work? Well, my subject matter deals with South African issues from my perspective but I've visually interpreted it using myself in Hindu settings. So scenes from famous Hindu stories like the Ramayana, Mahabharata, I use those stories as visual aids to creating work that deals with my life as a South African. If you look here, this was sort of my first transition into the digital medium. I started looking at how I could enhance these animals in my own vision of it, as though I was some sort of mad scientist, giving a mouse a metal arm for better digging, giving a mosquito a blood bag so he can store a meal for later. And this is some of your digital stuff? Yes, would you like a small crash course on it? As long as you teach me how to make myself taller. Yes, and then I'm going to teach you how to make me taller. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to splice some objects together. All we're going to do is we're going to simply drag this onto our landscape and paste it. So we've got this little dragon dude here and we're just going to remove his background and then we're going to paste him as well into our landscape. So this is sort of the basis for my work, it's where I start. May I see some of your finished work? Yes, definitely. The image we're looking at is an image that's quite close to my heart because it deals with fees must fall. This is sort of now where the conflict of my Hindu identity and my South African identities come into play. Because as a Hindu child, we're taught that knowledge and art books are all sacred objects. They belong to the goddess Saraswati. At the same time, we want the higher ups to listen to our words. So this image sort of plays on the students themselves becoming these configurations of demons, but then we also look at the fact that they're not demons without a purpose, you know? And on top is sort of my interpretation of the goddess Saraswati. Obviously, I'm playing her in this role. And you'll notice that she's playing a sitar because I actually play the sitar. You're also a musician. Yes, I play the sitar. I play the harmonium and I do vocals. You're completely self-taught. Yes, I grew up with my mother's parents and I was my grandfather's little minion. He would teach me prayers and songs and pajans and all of these things. And he passed on in 2007 and 
music has been all that reminds me of him. I'd really love to perform for you. I've got a friend coming over for a small practice session. Would you like to listen to us? I would be honored. Thank you. <laughs> Bolo Krishna ke ya lal ki je sham re ghan sham re 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 Kibeshan is a multi-talented artist. He has inspired me to see the world through fresh eyes and I'm sure you can see it too.